The FCC is changing the way it reviews complaints, and it might eventually lead to you paying $225 just to be heard by your own government. The Federal Communications Commission approved new changes to its complaint system that makes it easier for the agency to ignore consumer feedback regarding issues with data plans, internet service providers, and other types of telecommunications. So the agency that's job includes making sure you're not being unfairly charged by Comcast or AT&T, now it wants you to pay for them to do that job. So the FCC currently has two types of complaint systems, informal and formal. Informal complaints are free and don't carry much weight, since they aren't resolved individually by the agency. Instead, the FCC will review all of the informal complaints collectively to track patterns and potentially take actions against the accused carrier or internet service provider for abusing their power or breaking the law. Formal complaints, on the other hand, can make a bigger impact since they work similar to a court proceeding but they will cost you $225 just to file. The new changes to the complaint rules affect both systems, but it mostly impacts informal complaints because of the removal of the words review and disposition, which indicate that the FCC could find a resolution to a problem and eventually take action, but not anymore. Without that wording, commissioners can just forward complaints to the targeted company without even reviewing them. Then they can ask people to file a $225 complaint form if they're not satisfied with the response they initially got. If I had a complaint detailing discrepancies on my data plan with T-Mobile and submitted an informal complaint form, it'd go directly to T-Mobile and I'd potentially never hear back from neither the FCC or T-Mobile. I would then have to submit a formal complaint form, pay $225, then wait until the FCC calls me. The FCC said the change in rules was made to clarify that the agency doesn't act on individual complaints. But critics worry that by removing this language, the FCC will use it as an excuse to no longer review or act on informal complaints. One of those critics is Commissioner Jessica Rosenworcel, who is the only remaining Democrat on the commission. In a tweet, she called the decision bonkers because she believes the FCC should be doing everything in its power to make it easier for consumers to express their concerns and actually be heard by the agency. The worst thing about this decision is that the FCC had actually vowed to keep the rules as they were. But last minute, Chairman Ajit Pai proposed to change the language and successfully passed it anyway. There's no real evidence that the FCC will ignore a complaint starting tomorrow. But if one of its own members is speaking against the decision, it's very telling about what the agency plans to do with these new rules. So what's the moral of the story? Essentially, Ajit Pai is giving consumers two options, pay to be heard or have their complaints potentially be lost in the void. But only time will tell how these changes will impact the system. Overall, his rules continue to be bullshit, 